I really hate when people call here plugging other boards. It bothers me. I guess it must now, now that you're a mod ship at, at Spread the Iris. Yeah. I, I still don't think that you're thinking clearly. I mean, with all I, due respect, Mr. I get B. to go in that secret room. You don't want to go there. You don't want to look at what Bam talks about. Who cares? It's exciting stuff. You don't know until you get in there. There's like fucking 17 members of that board. Don't now, you want to be where the people are, the chicks are, now, FBA? Now, let's see. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving. We're giving out prizes. Can I just tell Your only place to win the best of Larry Sanders. <laughs> you just were, were going to re-gift it. No, I'm going to get more from uh, Earl. Oh. And Earl, yes. you're welcome too. You've never been on a message board, right? Uh, no, you I refuse haven't. to even read them. Yeah, I, I I barely look at him. I love the <laughs> fact that it's come up twice now, and Earl hasn't corrected you and told you he isn't the one that got you the Larry Sanders. Who did? I got you that. How the hell did you get this? I ordered it from Earl. I went ahead. I didn't want you to have to wait for it. I knew Earl wasn't going <gasps> to come through. What I went the and got fuck? It. And I've been thanking you for this all morning. Oh, and I, it's I, gone I by twice. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I never you took fucking credit. do this to my best friend. No, I, I never took credit for it. I was sitting you here. Yes, you. No, I did you not. You did not take credit. I you said only the credit. best for you, Ronnie. No, I, I did not take credit. For You're it. lying. I did not take credit for that. But you know, and I don't want to be that kind of person that says, "Oh, do you like the gift I got you?" No. But and yet you did become that person. No, he was entitled. I had title. no choice. I was pulled into it. Fez was trying to show you the truth. Absolutely. Shame on you, Earl. I, was, I, I am turned, shocked. I turned around. I but turned around Earl, you're supposed to get this before it's even available. I understand that. I was working on that. If it but came I never out, never took credit for it. It came out yesterday, and I knew if you didn't have it yesterday, I needed to go get it for you. Snake in the grass. I spun Douglas. around the first time he said I spun around and said who got it for him because I never took credit not on the air you didn't fucking say that no way this is where we live on the air not like you saying and who did you say that to by the way I turned to both Pitsy and I turned to Pepper did, I said did he? who Pitsy did, where did it come from come on I want you to grab a mic and be honest did uh, he say he was mumbling because he was so nervous of what to say he didn't know what was going on but he did not say on air that he didn't give it to you that's the bottom line Whatever that meant, Pitts. <laughs> Basically, he didn't correct Fez at all. You totally took credit how am I for gonna, that. How am I going to correct him when I don't know where it came from? I was all you got to say is to me is, came from. Ronnie, you keep thanking me because I'm totally fucking excited about this. I love the Larry Sanders show. All right? No, and I'm glad you have it, but I, I never took credit for it. I was asking where You never said from? to me, Ronnie, I didn't get that because then I would have went... What? This is what Fez was waiting for. For you to say, I didn't get it for you, and for me to go, what? Well, then where the hell did it come from? And then Fez would be beaming, and then I'd be like, was it you, Fez? Oh, all right, it was. Instead of him having to scream out, <laughs> I got it for you, I demand some love. <laughs> and that's all he wants, is the love that he deserves. You ruined it again. I didn't ruin it again. I know now, I'm where Fez could be loved. Amazing. And now it almost looks like, instead of being loved, Fez is pathetic and has to <laughs> shout out, yes. I'm the one who got it for you. That's the like, you need credit. That's the spot I'm in again. I mean, Earl, what I could have done is waited till right now, it's, you know, 1240, and I could have done a big presentation on the air. Yeah. Ronnie, I got you something right. that I know you would love. And I would have went crazy for it. But no, I just kind of set it in here by uh, Ronnie's area. Terrible. Oh. Absolutely His terrible. His countertop area. Oh. <laughs> And he did say, and I let it go by. Best. I let it go by the first time twice because I thought Earl would do the right thing. I mean, I totally was under the impression that you got it for him because you said no, anything I, for the best for you, no, Mr. B. But I, but I also did I you say only the best for you? You said I don't something along. Saying that. You said something along He's those crazy. lines, Lily. Absolutely, you said that, Earl. Can we go back and grab it from the Fucking because it, it happened right at the start of the show? I was but ecstatic I, to get this. I but mean, I, but now, I will. I am. I am on the. I will go on record saying I turn around. and say, where you know did what? it come from? This thing I has to... turned so awful. I'm just going to pay you, Fez. Fuck it. No, Forget do not. It. No, this thing has turned so ugly. Do not. I'm going to throw this right back. You know what? The man even want to get. Lily, throw this in the ash can. Do not throw that away. Well, you see that the whole thing went bad, right? Yeah, totally. Because of somebody just taking fake credit through I mean, his. I silence. never took credit for it. Never. You never said nothing but the best. 
Through his silence. Because that is something that you say when I thank you for things. No, but you, you said you, something along those lines. Or I may be misquoting, but you said something along those lines. He said, only the best for you, Ron. Is that what it was? Something to that effect. Now, that is a way of taking credit without saying, I got it for you. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, it's insane. And I'd say something right now, but Al Sharpton's fucking wandering around every radio show. So I'll have to hold it for later during commercial. But you are something, Earl. You are no, something. What do you mean? I am something. And you're the reason why other people get called <laughs> something. It's not passive aggressive what he did. It's passive like niceness. Whatever he did. It's niceness that he didn't take that he took credit for without actually doing. Passive compassion. But I I I'm going on record of saying I asked I, I know I asked at least once, like, where did it come from? I asked the Not the, on the air. No, I understand not on the air. But I like, thank you. Where, where the it, fact that you mumbled something to Pitsy only means that you are fucking hiding it back there. No, I'm not trying to hide it. I was just trying to find correct information. On why wouldn't you say to me, uh, Ronnie B., I did not get that for you, and have me do that? You didn't? Where did this come from? Is it from you, Lily? Is it from you, Dave? Is it from you, Fez? Yeah, it's from me. What? You thought of me? And then Fez and I would have this wonderful moment. Instead of this pathetic awkwardness of Fez demanding the uh, credit for a present. All right, can I interject this as well? Yeah. All right, we're talking about what happened the first time you brought it up? Yeah. Wasn't the same thing happening the second time where yeah. again Earl through his silence? Yeah. It's only that I interrupted it this time. Right. I, I'm you should have let it with the whole show. I know. I'm an asshole. I should have let it gone for the whole three hours because it would have. Yeah. I'm really pissed at myself now. Me too. I'm pissed at you too. <laughs> Why? You know I what? got you a nice gift. <laughs> you know what? I should have known it was from you. Right on the front, somebody wrote, thanks for not taking me to the nut hut yesterday. <laughs> and that should have been, that should have uh, been a red flag. That it was you. Well, I have been such a crybaby. I needed to do something nice for you. You put up with me every day. Well, this is a start. This is really the beginning. Oh, Maybe yeah. we could do a thing where every day there's a different great present for me. <laughs> and then, like, I'll be, like, almost running to work. I'll be so excited. <laughs> chicken and waffles? How did you know? Ooh, that'd be good. We're getting chicken and waffles, Earl? Uh, no. Oh, no, because Fez didn't get them. If not, they'd be here, and you'd be like... Nothing but the best for you, Ronnie B. <laughs> you deserve it, boss. You should ban him from Spread the Iris. <sighs> he can't get on. But he I, can't get on. But it was not my intention at all to hurt your feelings, Fez, at all. But I, I mean, but... No, it was your intention to take credit where no, you didn't deserve. I, 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 you took credit, Earl. Because you, I, had, I will tell you this, at least twice. you got the credit from me, and I was more than uh, happy to see this here today, more than throwing it over to you constantly of, thanks to Earl, blah, 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 because, you know, Fez, I've been waiting for this since it's been announced, and Earl knows it. Now, how the fuck could that, that could Fez walk into a Best Buy and get it before you could get it straight from the company? How does that happen? You know, it, you know, numerous calls were made over there to see if we can get the thing over there, and they, it just didn't get over there. But I, it just didn't happen. No, it did happen. Fez Watley made it happen. And no, yet it, you took credit for it. And that's I why I went and did it, because I knew it wasn't going to happen. Not to hurt your feelings, Earl. Earl, you're a no good something. I can't say exactly till things change. But you are a no good something. I'm sure by the second time... Not only that, you're a motherfucking something for what you did this morning. <laughs> I'm sure by the second time you brought it up, yeah. Earl in his head had convinced himself that he really did pull this off. Uh, he winked at me. I don't know how I did it, but I did something right. When I was I able to him, produce something. He winked. In the back of your mind, did it come here from a listener and then you were just going to let that go? No, Make I sure you fucking throw away no, whatever letter you no, had. No, exact opposite. I was trying to see who sent it. So Where's that the case credit. of peeps? Get that, the proper credit. That crazy gent sold, sent to Fez that I got to hear about constantly. I get emails about the peeps. I'm oh, by the way, uh, the UPS said the post signed for those peeps. <laughs> <laughs> so go to his house. There's six cases of them over there. Follow the marshmallow and uh, glittery uh, coverings, glittery sugar. Oh, you're a liar, Earl. 
Well, I held my line when I was trying to find out who who sent it because you lied to me. I did not lie. To That's you. a lie in and of itself. There's, he wasn't trying to find out who sent it. He didn't ask what, me. What? Like, Midnight. I asked two two times. Who sent the damn DVD over? Yeah. Twice. You never heard that. No, heard you it. didn't hear it. I asked it in here. But you would say on the air, Ron, I did not give you that DVD. Then seconds later, we would have found out where the DVD came from, i.e. Fez Watley. Look, That's the boys can't stand it that Lily's in here and they don't get their time to, <laughs> to get up next to it and smell it. That's a good question. If you don't say anything, are you as much a liar as a liar? A lie by admission. A yeah. lie by admission. Let me ask you this. If uh, you like somebody, you like this girl, she doesn't tell you that she's with someone else. That's a fucking lie yeah. by admission, right? Totally. We all believe yeah. that. Yes, yes. But then later she could go, oh, yeah, when I told you I was bu- I told you I was busy last weekend. No, yeah, you didn't tell me you're fucking somebody. Right. You said I'm really busy right now. That would be a lie. Lily, agree, disagree? Absolutely agree. Yeah. Have you ever been in that situation? No. <laughs> you have probably never found out. Mm. A lie by admission. Is that what the word I'm looking for? Yes. Yeah. Admission. O- omission. Uh, omission. Uh, oh, okay. Omission. Yeah. You were saying it. Yeah, they admit it. Yeah. They, they omit it. They didn't yeah. admit a lie by omission. That's exactly what it was, Earl. Well, he webs such a tangled what weave of this. Wait, 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 Trying to get the correct information so I could dispense correct information. Is that a lie? Uh, yes. I'm trying to. I'm like trying to ascertain. I'm like, who sent this? And no one's telling me anything. No one fucking backed you up. Trying to ascertain the correct information. What were you trying to pull off, Columbo? All you had to say on the air is, Ron, I didn't get that for you. I don't know who did. That's how I you would have gotten to the bottom of the case, Kojak. I have a present sitting on my desk that I thank you for. You did not say it didn't come from you, and yet you feel no. like you're on the case. I was trying to, f- when when you said when you picked what up. What if I said this, Earl? You shit all over my desk. That's your shit there. You would have fucking not went. You wouldn't have not said anything and went. Where did that come from, Pitsy? Huh? Let's get to the bottom of that later. And that's it. You would have been screaming on the air, Ron. I did not shit on your desk. I even waited till just before Ron got here to put it over there, wondering if Earl would come through with this, right. knowing that it got released yesterday. Well, you know what, Earl? You would have got away with it if it wasn't for Fez Watley, because he's not afraid of a social <laughs> fucking uh, weirdness. He will stand up and say it. It wasn't about trying to get away with anything. I was... <sighs> no, I was... I merely asked... Twice, like who said twice? No, because they. Uh, for now, it's the Pitsy show. The fact that you said something to Pitsy. No, but the guys they set up the studio. They always lay that. St- whenever stuff comes in, they lay that stuff. I out. can't believe this became Pitsy's fault. <laughs> yeah. he, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it his fault, but he didn't give me an answer either. I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Where yeah. did it come from? Earl Douglas, the Blaine genius, strikes again. This I guess time, he is. This time, Pitsy's under his fire. His wrath. Wrath of Khan is more like it. <laughs> Shock at Khan. And let's face it, Pitsy's not working out. His, his has not worked out for him uh, being the newest member of the team. To find him in this position, uh, it's a real mark against him in the early days here. I think so. Uh, Josh, you're a runner, Fez. Hey, buddy. I just yeah. wanted to uh, point out that... Um, <laughs> That uh, Earl starts screaming and hollering, and that shows right away that he's lying. So, two. Here's uh, uh, Corinne. Hey, guys. Yeah. I just wanted to say that uh, since Earl wasn't trying to hide this, when can you guys expect the actual DVD to come in that Earl ordered from the company? All right, good one. Earl, when's that going to be here? I, I can't answer that question. We we asked about this weeks ago. No, we made- not only this, this motherfucker, Fez. I know how you finally lost your top and blew it. Because I fucking look at my, what I considered, partner, Earl, and said, oh, we'll be giving out these prizes, like these, uh, the best of Larry Sanders, and we'll be giving that out on on Spread the Iris. <laughs> Earl doesn't say a word to me. <laughs> yeah. He's enjoyed it. 
Finally, Fezzi hears that and snaps. Because not only now has uh, Earl let on that you got me one, he acts like the... Because uh, I was on the assumption that if I got one, there was ten others for the listeners. Right, yeah. Now you've got Ronnie plugging a prize that we don't have. That doesn't exist. Not the first time Mr. B's done that uh, either. But, but and he still was. Has, has uh, Mr. B done that before? When we, you've put prizes on the sheets. Where are you going, Earl? He just threw his headphones. He's out. put prizes on the sheets, <laughs> and we don't actually have them in our possession. Yeah, he threw them away. He's running away. <laughs> he's running away. He uh, he left his producer's booth. I right, locked that booth so I can't get in, Lily. Lily, <laughs> Pitsy, get over there and lock it. I don't want him back in. Get in there. Earl has walked off the job, <laughs> thrown the headphones again. He is gone from the booth. He almost made it to vacation, the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this, this ruins Earl as the longest serving run in <laughs> yeah! He didn't make it. He You're didn't make it. You're out, Earl. <laughs> he did. Al Dukes, sir. Al Dukes remains the champion. Thank God. Oh, man, he came so close. Oh, he had less than a week to go. Oh, And that Earl. counts. Yeah. That counts. That's a fucking walkout. That's a walkout. He just, now he's out the door. <laughs> he's out the fucking door. All he had to do was make it till when we got back from vacation. If he could have made it to May 1st, <laughs> he would have been fine. All right, now they're chasing him with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucked up guy. This is a mess. You know, I've been such a, you know, depressed asshole. I right. wanted to do something nice. Well, I'll tell you what, it's you brought have. me more joy. Yeah, you know, you have. You've done something wonderful. You've caused Earl's job. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Just so DC knows, Earl is gone and has not come back. Right. <laughs> we are a show without a producer. I love... The fact he threw his headphones like a fucking thing and they wrapped around his neck and then he had to force them off his head. Like he was a caballero in Argentina, one of the gauchos. Oh, that's great. I love when he quits. Oh, that's too bad. He was so close. Jesus, Fez, look at this. Like every neighborhood in Fairfax. You see it? That's that uh, sniper's thing. Oh, It looks like every neighborhood down there. Oh, yeah. Those big townhouses? Yeah, I could have sworn they were broadcasting from my street. Look at they, that. When they went to Centerville. I swear that's my apartment. Doesn't that look like my old house? Yeah, but they all look like that down there before yeah. you get too panicky. It's very hard to get around. Everybody's got those big townhouses. Yeah, I swear that's the street I lived on. Centerville Road or whatever it was. Mm. Something Farms Road. I'm already sick of hearing about this kid and what went through his mind and why didn't anybody else know. Well, uh, right, hold on, we got Dave uh, broadcasting back to us. Uh, if you're just tuning in, Black Earl has run out. <laughs> and you'll never believe the reason why. Because <laughs> he's still credit for a present Fez gave me. <laughs> what a fucking cheap move. Hey, David. <laughs> hey, David. <laughs> yeah, I can't hear you, buddy. You got to turn your mic on. Do they have up? Yeah, I can't hear you. Hello. There you go. All right. All right you're on. I'm just going to try and find out where Earl's gone. Because right. it's worrisome. So Earl has left the XM offices, Dave? Yeah. I found him. I found him. He's uh, sitting in back in the office, pouring water on his hands, acting a little bit crazy. Earl, will, are you going to come back in, or what's the story? No, I just wanted to cool off a little bit. Because Earl. This Bullshit. <laughs> what happened? What's got you so mad, Earl? That you were found I, out? I, what's got you so mad? No, because, I mean, being accused of something that, I mean, it was a, I don't know if it was an honest mistake. It was clearly a mistake, and I never said, I never took credit for it. <laughs> no, but you didn't get the never credit back. In He's... fact, I tried to find out who the person was to get the correct, give them the correct credit. He said he couldn't tell you if it was an honest mistake or not. No, I'm just, I'm just. You know, I'm really upset. It was a lie of omission. That's was, what it was. I was trying to find out who sent the damn thing. All you had to do was say it on the air. Now, are you lying to us right now, or? I'm oh, not lying. Right, I'm not lying at all. Oh, I, when the second it came out, I spun around he and said, "Like real hard. 
Who sent it? Yeah. No one's saying anything. Right. Came up again. I turned around. I asked <laughs> Pitsy and I asked Pepper. Who sent it? Because they write the damn point. Pitsy, is that true? Yeah, and the answer, I don't know, isn't sufficient enough for us. Because that's what I who told them it? twice. I, I don't know no who idea sent who it. sent the damn thing. See, they, they got caught in a lie. So what, Earl? This is why I don't let any of you in on my gift ideas. I asked a question and nobody was answering it. All right, so you lie. Oh, he, oh, oh, he just hit David in the face with a microphone. I'm suing. I am suing your ass. ass. Oh, my God. I am suing your ass. That's so hard. Earl, what did you did do? Did you see that, Poe? I, Earl Douglas, Mr. He B, threw just threw a microphone the fucking face and it hit, it hit me right what below is this? the eye. Jackass, Earl? Who are you, did Stone you, Cold? I, I, I tossed him the mic and he, he was threw it in his fucking face. I, I saw it. I tossed him. I am doing your ass. I did like this. The I, why would you throw an expensive microphone at all? I will get all $2,000 in your bank account. <laughs> By the time Bullshit. I'm done with it. You're not getting that two grand. That's already gone. Earl is something rich, and that thing went out quick. Let me see your eye. <laughs> oh, it's already puffing up. Oh, man, if that <laughs> thing turns into a shirt. Yeah. Be yeah. Earl, you hit the whitest guy you could right in the face. Oh, my God. I, I, yeah. You're going to have a shiner. There's a huge blotch oh, on me. It, it, it was com I, It was a... You threw a microphone, microphone in Look my at his face. face. Is there not a mark on his face? You threw it, and it, 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 this just happened. It'll get worse it, and it worse. It was an it's underhand toss. It's already puffing up, though. You threw a microphone in my fucking face. Dave, Dave if, I, if I had thrown it at you, you wouldn't be talking right now. Oh, bullshit. Oh! You fucking have an arm like a broad, Earl. I've seen you throw. <laughs> no extension. Horseshit. You can't hit. <laughs> Any day of the week in a batting contest. Bring day. it on. Any day. Bring it fucking on. Any day. Hey, Earl, you know, I want it, it was, I want 15% of your but paycheck. I, but, Dave, I had that no intention much. of hurting you. Zero. It doesn't matter what your intentions were. You just threw a microphone in my face. Apparently, Pac will be protesting XM to get Earl fired, is what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I got look. some ice for me by Pepper Hicks. Thank right, you. Where, uh, where is Earl? No, Earl. All right, here's what you did so far. You stole the credit for a present I, that Fez gave me, and then you hit Dave in the face with a microphone, basically destroying your and, run as the producer. And I would also like to point this out, throwing a microphone in my face when I was not looking, hey. which was fucking sneaky and underhanded. Hey, okay. Let well, me like, know I had intended to hurt I you. I wasn't even staring, staring at you. It was so unintentional. If you want to throw a microphone in my face... Come on in. Let me look hey, at you man to man hey, and throw a fucking mic in my hey. face. Don't have my back turned and you boomerang a microphone was, at me. Dave, your back wasn't turned. It was so unintentional. And you're in his face. It doesn't matter what the fucking intention was, Papa. Huh? Papa? Earl. Yes. Is this too much uh, stress on you? No. From Lily taking over the party <laughs> and I Dave think, taking over your no, opening? Not. Anytime someone assaults another producer, uh, yeah, I think stress is involved. Who are you, Naomi Campbell? <laughs> <laughs> Naomi. It, 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 it was so... <laughs> Again, I want to say this one more. Dave, if I had intended... I, How about a fucking <laughs> apology? <laughs> it's been fucking seven minutes. Because you've been screaming at oh, me. Oh, fuck so you. Fun. And you know what? I didn't even want to bring this up. What? But you know what? You brought up Mr. B. For once in my life, I wanted to take the high road, protect his back yeah. until the microphone <laughs> incident. But yesterday, after work, in Earl's garbage cans, I saw three to five peeps. He you fucking motherfucker. has been eating them, and he threw them away. Pitsy, back me up. What are you Were there peeps down in Earl's trash can yesterday? Is that true? I don't even know what you're talking about. There probably was. I didn't see You them. saw them. I did not see them. Don't get me involved in your fight. <laughs> Who was with me? I have no Lily, idea did you see him? Uh, I pointed it out to I somebody. Have no, I, honest to God, I have no idea what you're talking about. There were three to five peeps in your garbage can. If I saw it with my own eyes, fine. I swear to Jesus I, on your fucking Bible. I, I swear to God in your Bible. I, guys, look Were at there me. peeps in there? Look at me. Look, look, look. Oh, I, were you I eating swear. peeps yesterday? I don't even know what peeps are. You're, you're, oh. you're taking credit for fucking the Larry Sanders. Best stuff. You're eating peeps, <laughs> and you're throwing microphones at people. It's not face. funny, what Chachi. Cha-cha, Papa. You better stop it. It's that funny, Earl. You you took Crazy Jen's chicklets or peeps that were designed for fans. And chicklets. Chicklets would have been an actual better name for that can for that candy instead of the gum. 
Well, I don't even uh, Scott, you're on a Fez. Yes, they were. Yes, hey, they were. guys, boy, what a mess. Hey, I tell you what, I find one thing ironic. Whenever Fezzy is getting help from you guys or the listeners, he's a total train wreck. But when his surroundings are a train wreck, he's the happiest we've ever heard him. Yeah, he, Fezzy is, his favorite things is what we call putting the boots to somebody. And that means some poor soul has hit the ground yeah. And it's time for everybody in the crowd to stomp on him. You, my friend, have the makings of a shiner. Look at this. Earl, you hit Look the palest that. man in America right in the face with a microphone, and it's going to start and swell up it, on him. It, it was, Dave, it was completely unintentional. I did not intend to hurt you. And and I don't want I don't ever want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anybody on this. Why team. would you leave your post? Remember I, what you were suspended for before no, well, leaving your post. I, I I was getting very angry, and before I was going to destroy something. What made you angry? That Fez ended up taking the credit for something that belongs to you? No, I, honestly, Dave just again spewing shit. He has nothing. He has no You're idea wrong. what he's talking about. There were peeps like, in the me, trash. I was like, let me walk out, take a deep breath, get some water, which I did, and then I came back. Earl, you're wrong and you're lying. And by the way, now it's. Nine minutes, and you still have not apologized. And secondly, I wonder what Don Wicklin would feel about inter-producer assault. I don't plan to press charges, Earl, but for Christ's sake, and I'm sorry would be delightful. He's already been suspended for throwing company equipment once. Which, which hey, is I'm a man. I, I just wish you had done it when I was looking at you. That's the upsetting part. Well, I'm sure Wiki's going to be against interproducer uh, problems. Let me problems. take a look at your face. Let me take a look at your face. Yeah. See it, Fez? Oh, it's yeah. Out. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. You, you yeah, know, you can see it. Yeah. Dave, you are definitely... You are okay. definitely... No, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to do now what... If you want me to throw a microphone, no, I'll do your no, microphone. No, 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 no. Okay. No physical stuff. No physical stuff. But all yeah. I'm saying is... Give me an apology. Now I'm looking at you face All right. to face, and I'm sorry would be nice. Face to face. Be a man here and do the right thing, please. Hey, Dave, I'm sorry for hitting you with the microphone. Oh! Whoa. You're sorry for hitting me? Yes. Apology not accepted. How about that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with it with XM. That's what I'm going to do. No, fine. No, it's just... I had no intent. I had zero intention of hurting you with the microphone. Zero, zero. I ma I made the apology. That's that's all I, I can do. Why did you eat Fez's cheeps? I didn't. Peeps. I don't even know what they are. I don't know. I don't eat the candy that comes into the studio. Why like, did you lie office? today? Twice. Dave, I was trying to get credit. I was trying to find out who sent the thing. Why can't you be credit. honest with You were trying to get I'm credit. I'm completely honest with you. Why do you have, as Charles Grodin would say, two forms of expression, silence and rage? Why, don't, don't hit me again. Don't hit me again. Uh, uh, no, I was trying to answer hey, Rob, the question. what's this broadcasting I'm, I'm, under? I want to I'm, take a look I'm, at it. I was trying to answer the question. He almost I, hit me again. I was not trying to hit you. I was trying to answer the question. All right, here comes Poe. Don't get physical with I'm me. I'm not going to get physical with <laughs> I don't you. Need Here to comes Poe, who's already got his bag and his coat, and he's trying to go home. <laughs> I take my I, job I, seriously. I, this ain't I, a I, I, WWE take, I, I completely take my job seriously also, but I had no intention of hitting you the But first did time. you? I, yeah, I hit him, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I apologize for that. Me. Did, were you not looking at me when you threw the microphone at me? I, I just tossed it. Yes I, or I, no? Were you not I looking tossed, at me? I, w I was not looking at you. Oh, you're lying! I did, I did. You're lying! You, yes, you, and you were looking at me. I said, I don't, when I saw you, it was when it hit you. Did you see it again? Earl, look at his eye. No, I'm look at his eye. I'm example. When I hit you, like, I'm not. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> stop it. But I'm just saying, I had no intention at all of hurting you. Ever. A Rock, what are you broadcasting under? I'm trying to watch along too. <laughs> He's got it up on Pal Talk. <laughs> He's got this? Yeah, the battle's up on Pal Talk. <laughs> Pitsy, I hate to bring you into the bit for the third time and try, but what's he broadcasting under? I'll find out right now. Thank you. Why do you like hurting people and yourself? <laughs> and and yourself. Do you have a self anger issue? I, I mean I don't I don't want to hurt anyone. Do you want to be fired? Because no, to me, that's not what it feels be, like. No, I do not want to be fired. I, I love my job. I love, I love you guys. I love Why did you walk out then, Earl? No, I was... Why I, did you walk I, out 
after getting caught taking the, credit for a present. I was I was losing my temper, and before I did something stupid, hey, Danny. I walked out. But That's you what I did. I, wa- I I just had to step away, take a deep breath. I got some water. I calmed down, and I walked back. You walked out and did something stupid anyway. Well, you let me throw a microphone in your face. Poe, does that seem fair? Is that the smart thing to do? No, no. There's no violence here. What would be the best thing to do, Poe? Shake hands and hug and kiss each other. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. I, I, you know what? If, yeah. if, if he kisses me on the cheek... How about I'll, on the mouth? If he how about a kiss on the, on the mouth, mouth? I'll accept him. Earl, what would you rather have happen? He takes the... Uh, complaint to Don Wicklin or a long kiss on the mouth. Open mouth I mean, kiss. I, I personally don't want a long kiss either. All right, 10 S- seconds. That's, that's a little long for the book. That's yeah. fine. How, let's go back to the kissing on the cheek. How about thing? just a peck on the face, but it's in front of a uh, pal talk camera <laughs> so everybody can save it and make it into wallpaper. He hasn't shaven today. Shiven. So I don't want. He hasn't shiven. And I don't walk want over it. in front of the camera, and you guys just kiss each other in the mouth, and we put this away. All right, I'm not going to do that. How about, how about the cheek? No, that's stupid. Cheek I, is like... I, I'm very uncomfortable. Would you me. rather take it to Don? It's up to you. I don't care. Um, This is out of mine and Ronnie's hands. How about this? I give him a paddle thing on the ass. No. No. Because that could hurt somebody. Uh, I, I do not want to kiss Dave at uh, all. Then you'll be talking with Don Wicklin. We'll work it out. You threw equipment again, and then you uh, hit a fellow producer. Double whammy. Yeah. And That's walked off the it. post. And you ate Fez's cheeps. Peeps. Well, last time, I have no idea what they are, and I did not eat they them. They were in your trash can. Pitsy's backed them up with that, can. too. I'm hardly in that office. <laughs> so what does that say about how you do your job? All right, that's enough. I'm not going to go round and round. You guys work it out any way you want. I tried, to come, I tried to come do an ending with it, but we're back to cheeps and peeps and all that kind of stuff. Right. doesn't matter. Tried to have an ending for you lads. Tried to do something. Kiss me. What do you want, Earl? What do you want, Dave? I want him to kiss me so we can just squash this. Let's just kiss. You want to put this behind us like, like brothers, Earl? Like, like two brothers, like a, a, a father and an uncle. Let's just kiss on pal talk and get it done with. <laughs> Earl, you give him a lip kiss, and I'll forget that you stole credit for the gift I gave Ronnie. Too. I, I, uh, by the way, thank you, Earl. I don't know who <laughs> deserves a thank you, so I'll just give it to Earl. It's me. The, well, both of you. <laughs> e- equally the best. You both thought I mean, of this. I don't even... I, I'm, I'm, don't walk away from the camera. Let me just... Just real quick. Like we're pals. I'm not, just kiss me real no. quick. Real now, Earl, now do it and get it who? over with. Kiss. Just kiss me. Now who's assaulting who? Just kiss me. Earl, please finish this. Come on, just a kiss. Can I kiss him on the cheek? No! no. I'm, I don't want to... stop just staring into the camera <laughs> as if you're on TV. Come on, real quick. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it that much either. No, I'm not, I'm gonna... <laughs> but I do believe in reconciliation. You can kiss or touch tongues. <laughs> No, or, I'll give you this. Bear ass to bear ass, and then we okay, forget about this. I'll definitely this. do that. Bear ass to bear ass. I, no, I am not. Chick <laughs> I to rather, chick. I'm I'd saying chick to chick, not that. asshole to asshole. We're not sick. I'll do <laughs> asshole to asshole right now. Go ahead. That's yeah. a piece of All right. Do it Put alone. it out I'm there for him. My ass. Put it out there for him, Dave. Let him get, have the opportunity. Oh. Just stare at it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to reveal what he's getting unless he at least <laughs> no, goes to boxers. No, go to boxers. Don't, don't, you don't have to. Uh, I rather, I rather, go to boxers. That's me slapping it. That's me slapping it. Right there. That's me. That's some prime rib right there, pal. We hear it. I don't know about prime, but yeah. I'm, I have, All right, what about this, Earl? You either give him a kiss or just bite the back of his shorts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And I'm not saying bite his ass. I'm saying just bite the back of his shorts like a goat nibbling. You're, Come on. Like, you're like the copper Here tone dog. Going for it. Yeah, be the copper tone dog. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just pulling it down a little bit. And Come Dave, on, you're the copper tone girl. Yeah, right, so you gotta look happy. That. You gotta look over your shoulder at him with your pigtails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take the shirt up, Dave, so everybody gets the full effect. So you look more like the copper tone girl. Make it into a half shirt if you need to. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, That's a good look. I don't know why that doesn't work more with guys. <laughs> it just doesn't work out for guys when you try to have the half shirt. I mean, you would... Show uh, how to do the half shirt. 
A guy, oh, Lily. A guy can wear a tank top. That's yeah. fine. Making a really cute half shirt on him. All right. So now he's got his ass crack out. Now, Earl, you know what your part is, right? You're on all fours, and you're pulling his shorts with your teeth. And just make it seem like summer's coming. It'll give everybody that big summer feeling that we all need. All right, all fours for you, Earl. Come on. And we got to get a good shot. But now, now I'm a dog. Yeah. Play me, doggy. You're the copper tone dog. <laughs> Come on, you want not just you want any peak? dog. Yeah. You want peek? You want right, he does oh, showing his ass. Stop. Turn around and get a good shot of the half shirt, though, because it is peak? an adorable. Look at that stomach. Dog. That's 25 pounds in the last two months. You're you look, looking at. You look fantastic. Talking. Another 25 you're ripped. more. 25 more. I'm six two. All right, here he goes. Get me. Come on, puppy. You're biting into the shorts and you're pulling down. Bite me, puppy. Here he comes. Let me Make little. sure he gets a good shot. <laughs> he now, hit my skin. <laughs> all right, do it again. We didn't get a good shot, Earl. Yeah, Take he, your time. Put the microphone down so you look more like a dog. He yeah. bit my skin. Yeah. Now, first of all, you're on all fours. I want you to look up at the camera at all fours and let him get that shot. I want somebody to save this, too. And this is a way of really putting... All right, that's perfect. You might even want to turn the hat around, Earl, and kind of look like hip-hop. Yeah. How, how's that look? Yeah, it looks fantastic. He's centered... Now, you turn around and bite. Not you turn around and bite the shorts and pull it down a little bit. Not only are you a mud, this is your directorial debut. Yeah, I'm doing great. And uh, it's got to come down so just like his tan is showing. Oh, no, I need some copper tone. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put, oh, one, yeah. you gotta put <laughs> one hand on one cheek now. as you look over your shoulder. I need shoulder. some copper tone. <laughs> Hey, I'm fucking, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can rip a fart in his face. <laughs> I was trying, actually. I didn't even need the money. <laughs> oh, the sheepy move. I should have had old, a bigger breakfast. The old sheepy move. That was fantastic. All, All right, right, now hey. we come on back in. Now we got the team together. No again. charges. Now we shake hands. No charges. Come on. Yeah. Uh, E-Rock, could you get this on camera? Yeah. No charges. That's no, no charges. <laughs> oh! Oh, there's this. Touch po, me. po, break it up. Po. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get him to touch me in my special area. <laughs> Bo comes over. What the fuck are you doing? Come on in, both of you. You had a fantastic show. Nice work. The copper tone. How mu I got the original pulled up on my screen here. How mu how close did we get? I say exactly. <laughs> now, um, by the way, I don't know if everybody remembers the old copper tone logo. Do you remember that, uh, Dave? Yeah, of course. That's yeah. the first thing I ever jacked off to. <laughs> Just look in. All right, Earl, come on in. Uh, again, another great idea, Earl. You, you found yourself in trouble. Then you come up with a great idea. I'll be the copper tone dog. <laughs> and you did it again. You're out of there. Now, unfortunately, this is a do-over time for you as producer of the Ron and Fez show. You're starting back at ground zero, stage one. Yeah, it was, it was kind of... I didn't technically leave the building. I left. I I will say I left my post. Yeah, you left your post. You left the, the show. And the last the time you left your post, you got suspended. Yeah, and I don't want to make sure Wiki doesn't find out anything about this. That and, uh, and a little adventure with the microphone, but you hit him in the face with a microphone. It had to be done. Yeah, you fucking gave him a beat down <laughs> like a dog. But, and the microphone's buzzing a little bit. But by the way, I got this uncomfortable business that you did with. Uh, Dave, which I'm going to go so far as to say homoerotic. Uh, oh, now, oh, now look. Uh, Lily's out there trying to just fucking show off for the pal talk camera. She's doing like the little model walk. <laughs> Lily's having a fashion show. She, she is. She's walking the runway. All right, so your girlfriend obviously upset that you're in a homoerotic uh, thing with another man. No, I'm she, not. She writes up here, and I hate to be the one to say this. Yeah. I love him more. That's <laughs> what happened. Wow. She's the best. Yeah. See that? And I, we don't look at as homo rock. I look at as me and Earl trying to get back together to that right. fear that we were. I'll go for the former. <laughs> homo erotic? <laughs> yes. You got a little wood? <laughs> he no. doesn't know the definition <laughs> of homo erotic, I guess. It's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, there was nothing sexually stimulating about so it. So they agree with me and what I said that we were just trying to bond. No, it just. Turn you on. Look at that picture. Someone will say completely homoerotic. I'm not going to lie. I like to bond with Earl. I wish he did, wasn't oh, throwing more. microphones at my face. All right, let's check in. You know what? Now I want to know more about Dave. What's Dave's like back? Let's talk to his best friend, Earl. Earl, as far as Dave McDonald goes, 
What does his underwear taste like? <laughs> Bed bleach. <laughs> oh. That means I'm clean. Yeah. I got nothing to say. I mean, I think my best friend was accurate. Yeah, but there. when you're bleaching your underwear, it means there's fucking stains. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I think we ought to send this out to the Coppertone people and say, here's your look for the right. 21st century. Time to fucking update, you ham and eggers. Summer 07, baby. Here's the why people aren't using Coppertone. <laughs> a, a, because now that same stuff burns your skin off, which everybody in the 70s thought was, hey, this is a great way to get a tan. Now you're killing yourself. Yeah, you might as well have been putting cooking oil on you. My mom used to do that. Really? My mom would throw something <laughs> with oil and throw it on and then lay in the backyard. But it was like, uh, and I can't remember what the gimmick was, but m everyone in my family got very dark. I got very dark. When when my um, son was little, he said to my chick, he goes, when I uh, grow up, am I going to be um, like you, white like you, or black like that? Because <laughs> I'm living in Florida. And, you know, living that lifestyle. Or I eat up. And literally, I didn't get her all black, but I was pretty dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Coppertone had that, the worst smell in the history of aromas. Like, coconut mixed with... To me, it smells just like banging a girl on a pool deck. <laughs> so I got no problem with it at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't have that experience. <laughs> so... Uh, here's uh, the general. General Bam. How are you, Bam? Bam, you're on the air with us, buddy. Hey, what's up? Just what? want to uh, welcome you to uh, Spread the Iris. Yeah, I've been offered a uh, mod ship, something I never had the offer from RonFez.net, any of the other sites. And I have to say this, it's an intriguing offer. Yep, I, and all your, all your information is in your inbox. Yeah, I don't know how that works, though. So probably no, and you're in your, in your uh, email. Yeah, give that to Lily, and she'll be in charge. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bam. I did just get a text message from Doug Out Doug yeah. that says on FBA you can be a super mod. Wow! And and that's not a made up thing. There's wow, mod ships and super mod. Who thought at this part of my career I'd be the bell of the ball? <laughs> You're being wooed. I really am. Seems like all the girls want to dance with Ronnie B now. Don't you think over at FBA it's a uh, uh, too little, too late? No, no, no. Doug has been playing this in the works for months. You know what's interesting? <laughs> Ronfez.net, I never hear from them. Yeah. All the years I've promoted Ronfez.net, not once have they taken care of me or my adopted son, Sheepy. Not a peep. I mean, peep. you never heard... That reminds me. You're right. There's not a peep. You never hear from Death Mail Mo ever. He doesn't call the show. You know, it's... Yeah, we hear from him all the time. Wait, yeah, always. But he's not a mod. They're lazy. No. You picked the one person that does call a lot. Hey, did you see the picture of GVAC, his little kid on there, what he was wearing? <laughs> no. It was the best fucking picture of all time. It was such funny 70s clothes with the checkered <laughs> pants and matching tie and then white shoes. <laughs> he was precious. I've seen pictures of young Mikey Boy, though. Yeah, Mikey Fantastic. Boy. Yeah, Mikey Boy's fantastic. He can't do any, anything wrong. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to miss him most of all, I think, if I do make the mod ship jump to spread the iris. Well... You know what this started with? Spread the Iris was the one smart enough. Hey, let's team up with Fez. Let's have Chris team up with Fez and are doing a um, a little uh, Sopranos wrap-up that everybody but FBA is going wild about. Uh, Whackbag says, Splendid. Nice. Oh, RonFez.net says, Watch your mouth. It's time for the Sopranos wrap-up. I'm loving the blurbs yeah, that this is picking up. Plenty of blurbs. That wasn't really a positive review. Yeah, Watching they were. your mouth? Yeah. But That's, don't you see that Spread the Iris is doing the legwork? They're making things happen. They're hustling to become number one. And they're the ones that have Frenchie, right? Yes. Yes. She's better than Frenchie. Love the French. What about you love HTG? She's a big-time moderator at FBI. on today. <laughs> and... She is so wrapped up with Mikey Boy in this supposed alleged affair that there's no time for the rest of us. I guess. Come on over. Be a super mod. By the way, I want you guys to know this. This is two people I heard from that may be at the gig on Friday night and be prepared to freak out. I heard from both these people out of the blue. Swiss Miss yes. said We're she wanted to show and... Strap in, because you haven't heard from this person in years. 
living now in Connecticut. Hey, I love you guys. I've been listening. It sounds great. I'd love to come to the party if I can make it. Nurse Myra. No wow. way. Is that fucking wild? This has become the greatest party ever. You're welcome, Fez, is all <laughs> I can say. Ron Bennington presents... Best to, party ever. It's something else. And it's all for the love of Casey and her new boyfriend, uh, Dave. Fiance. 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 Thank it's going to be this Friday at the VIP Club in Manhattan on West 20th Street. Starting about 10 o'clock. Yeah, would that be something if Nurse Myra shows? That would be the greatest. And I uh, already found out that Murph and Bri Bri are stopping by. Come on over. And supposedly Murph wants to move to Philly, and Bri Bri is trying to make her uh, wishes come true. Really? So that's exciting stuff. And leave Fairfax? I don't know if they live in Fairfax. <laughs> well, they're afraid of the Chinese killers. Oh, yeah, you got to at this point. It's yeah. too close to Centerville. You know, uh, he's South Korean, right? Yeah. When we lived in that area, I used to go to that big South Korean market all the time. I probably bumped into his mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they say uh, his parents have been hospitalized for shock. Oh, I would be too, man. You know, just sad all the way around there. I think I'd have to kill myself. I'd do the honorable Asian thing and I'd kill myself. Well, there was reports in South Korea, it turned out to be false, that both of them had tried to commit suicide after hearing about this. Here I would. Theory. I mean, I would have a terrible time. I would just, you know, my heart would break a million times over. I mean, it's terrible to think something awful happened to your kid. But then to think that your kid went and destroyed so many other lives. Yeah. And I could never be one of these uh, fathers that you see on TV that goes, you know, hang on, we deserve... You know, I would be nuts, but I don't think I could ever 100% turn against. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like what I saw out there today when Earl was beating uh, Dave to death with a microphone. Right. I still loved Earl, even though he had lied and told me he got me this beautiful Larry Sanders thing. Which, Earl, even though you didn't get it for me and Fez did, I will be enjoying this tonight. (laughs) I mean, it means a lot to me. I fucking love this show. Oh, it's one of the greatest shows in the history of TV. How can you use one of them? What actually beats it? I would say maybe sometimes Seinfeld, you know? I don't think Seinfeld's in the same fucking realm. Even though I love the Seinfeld show as well. I still don't think it's a Larry Sanders thing. It's unbelievable. They're, that's without question. And remember, it was just last night I was saying, put me on the drawer with Rip Torn, and the fucker walks. Well, you did it, Earl. You got me what I wanted. Rip you, Torn off? You made me very, very happy. Yeah. Now, last night on Idol, uh, Simon Cow caught rolling his eyes as one of the contestants from Virginia, Chris Richardson, was doing a shout out to his friends at Virginia Tech. He was sending his condolences. The camera cuts over to show Paula and Simon. Simon's turned his head and is rolling his eyes and tapping on the table, on the desk. Yeah. So they caught Simon doing that, so later he had to come out and say the same thing. I understood where his head was at, like, this isn't appropriate. We're sitting here talking about your song. And, uh, you know, for the English, they don't do what we do. They, they don't have the Fez Watley, I want to be seen as mm. somebody who doesn't have it together. That's just not English. Yeah, the public display of emotion. Yeah. Uh, BCH, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Yeah. And Fezzy and everybody. Uh, just wondering, Ronnie, will you be stopping by to, to read the best thing on the Internet, uh, Ron Bennington's line of the day? It's my favorite thing in the, in the history of the Internet. Matter of fact, it's the only thing on the Internet that I don't believe is wasted space. Okay. Yeah. I was just making sure you wanted us to uh, leave it open for you. Oh, my God, yes. Okay. Oh, don't even let... The fact that all these other boards are after me from ModShip, first thing I do... And I don't think it's any display of ego on my part... But what I do think is bad is that when I read some of my lines that these guys record, yeah. I will giggle along. <laughs> and sometimes they even say to my check, listen to this, because I don't remember. Okay, good. But, yeah. All, All right, right, BCH. So, long as, uh, so right. long as we have your blessing. Yeah, of course you do. All right. It's Thank the you. best. It's the only thing in the history of my career I have even the slightest amount of pride in. You know, you can uh, access that thread also at FBA. Yeah, fuck all those. Those are like 68 no, I'm quotes. Saying- Ron, uh, Ron and Fez have tried it, the Ron and Fez show. Everybody else, 100 here, 200 there. What are we up to, 2,200 right now? Yeah. but um, On Whack Bag? Right. And I will always love those guys for that. But uh, you, you can get a link to the Whack Bag thread on FBA. Is that right? 
Yeah, I think Schnittick. Yeah, but I don't see any of them doing it. Schnittick was going to put that together. Yeah, but I don't see him doing anything about it. I never see Schnitty's th- thing on there. See, that spread the iris. Proactive. As a, compared to other boards. You'll see. I mean, not a lot of topics. Well, I'm not giving iris. spread the iris fucking credit for that. I no. give that all to whack bag. That's the greatest th- uh, thread in the history of the internet. And that's just not me saying it. Uh, that came from my family as well. Early, uh, and then somebody had Dave's fucked up line of the day, which was kind of interesting, but confusing. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Uh, JD, JD, you're on Run of Fez. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, JD. Yeah, I was just out holding for uh, you guys. Well, now you start talking once the holding is done. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. This is JD. I was just uh, telling you guys that my mom was uh, modeling the uh, cup tone ad. JD, I don't know how to tell you this, but everyone's mom says that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a story I heard growing up. She uh, uh, was in Naples one day on the beach with her dog, Blackie, and that's how it happened. JD, but listen. When you're a yeah. little kid, believe that shit all you want. You're I an know. adult now, all right? Hey, you know, you guys, you're talking about it today. It popped in my head. Yeah, she probably was full of shit, but I didn't know everybody's mom told him that. That's everybody's mom heart. says that. How about I Santa Claus? You fall for that one, too? <laughs> I found that one out last year. All right, peace out, brother. All right, bye. And you wonder how Bush got elected. It's that fucking simple. That ad's been around for 100 years. I don't know 100. It's been around for a long, long time. I like I, to know I, when it started. Do you know, Fuzz? I don't know exactly when it started. I would guess probably in the 50s, I would think. Oh. You remember when Coke was invented, though, Fuzz? <laughs> no, I don't. I wasn't <laughs> around then. I would say the 30s minimum. Uh, we need to take a break here. Uh, Earl, you're all worked. You got things worked out now with Dave? Yeah. I'm, um, you don't seem happy, though. You seem a little off. Not off. I'm just... No, it's... Um, I'm very rarely I'm in this room. It's just it's cool to be in this Straight room. Straight in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great <laughs> room. He's been in here now. This is why well, I'm, but I'm, I'm always so it. happy. I'm, I'm this not. is why I'm so happy because the room's so great. Every time you're in this room, you say the same thing. No, because I'm always in the other rooms. I'm just I'm always comfortable in here. It's it's good in here. You want to bite Dave's panties again? No. <laughs> Let's never call each other's undershorts <laughs> panties. <laughs> Let's all put our hands in. And Earl, all kidding aside, thank you so much for the Larry Sanders. Not so I, much for getting it, but for not giving Fez the credit and ruining his present. That, I, Fezzy, what did this set you back? Tell me the truth. Um, they had it on sale where I went uh, for thirty nine ninety nine. I'm going to give you 40 then. No. No, that is for you. Yeah. That is a gift from me to you. Mm. Fez, I'm terribly I, sorry. The way Fez gives <laughs> gifts out, and really the way, Ron, you accepted that gift, I think is so adorable. And it's not working. It's okay. <laughs> Even last night you got busted because you overdid it. Oh. We try to get more people to like me the way that they like Fez. Luckily, they respect me as a mod. And that's all <laughs> I've ever really wanted. Hey, why are you guys mean about the Sopranos report, though, over there? Every other board, he says, likes it. Well, that's what he says. I've seen a lot of negativity, especially at ronfez.net, about the review. Mm. Yeah, people don't like it. People like the Fez. Don't like the Mafia Life Chris that much, though. But why not? Didn't he start FBA too, or wasn't he part of that in the beginning? Nah, he was a he was a mere member. He was a yeah. lowly member. <laughs> he was a <laughs> Joey Lunch pail on the internet. But he certainly right. was no HTG or Dugout Doug. I'll tell you that much. All right, we got a break here. Right back, running fast show. <laughs> 